Hello, everybody. Um, I thought you might like to have a little peek at your babies. I can't believe it's only one more sleep for some guys, two for the rest of you before you get your babies. Oh, I'm really, I'm really sad about this bunch going and how quickly the time has gone because with the other bunches, with the first and second litter, um, we, we knew that there might be another litter. We, we hoped that there would be, but this is Bella's last litter. Um, she was four this month. So, uh, I don't, I don't want her whole life, her whole life to be pregnancy and nursing and all that stuff. I want at four, she's got many good years left. She's a very healthy little girl. I'm glad that, uh, we were able to bring so many babies into the world. And I know that everyone that got a baby has gotten so much joy. So I'm very happy about that part, but I'm sad about these guys going. They're lots of fun and they're very, very sweet. But I'm sure that you guys will send me lots of pictures and videos and um, let me know what a wonderful life they're having. And I, I know that that will be the case. They're going to have good lives. And they, they really are needing their, um, their families now. They need more attention and they need more than I can give seven. Uh, it was great having Dwayne home the last few days because he, he helped me handle them and cuddle them and love them so that when you guys get them, you'll have babies that will know how to love you. So anyway, yeah, I, I sound really, really depressed and morbid, but honest, I'm not. Um, I'm just feeling a little melancholy, I guess, because, because this is the last bunch. You never know, maybe Booger will give us a litter someday. Not by her dad. <laughs> so if I can find an appropriate stud for her, maybe we'll look into it in the future, but... She's too young right now anyway. She has started having her heats, but she's uh, she's too she's still a baby herself even though she she looks like like she could well, physically she could have a litter, but I just I don't want that for her yet. I'd like to see her wait till she's maybe 3 years old, 2 and a half or 3 years old before she'd ever have a litter. But yeah, Anyway, I noticed that somebody's lost their collar in there, and I thought it was Eddie, but no, Eddie's got his on. Oh, look at her in there. I'll put the phone closer because you can actually hear them. What a good girl you are, Bella. What a good mommy you are. Yeah. That's an amazing mom. Um, many, many of the moms, they stop nursing as soon as they start cutting teeth. They're done. So she's... Um, She's really amazing. God love her. So I imagine she'll be glad when they're out the door too. She'll breathe a sigh of relief and say, well, there's a good job done. Is that Molly? Yeah, I think that's Molly. Oh, she's loving her mama. Oh. Well, 
What do you think, Blue? What do you think? You're a good boy. You're a good boy. You like them babies. Okay, no barks now. Good boy. Anyway, I think I'm going to sign off. These guys are going to the vet tomorrow. And we're supposed to have snow up here tomorrow, I think. So hopefully it doesn't get too nasty. But uh, And hopefully everybody's able to get to us when we get down there. I hope the ferries are all running and all that. Um, if something happens, we'll figure it out. But um, I'm hoping that everything goes smoothly. Dwayne's brother will be up here with the... Um, with the rest of our guys. So he'll be alone on Christmas Eve and on um, Christmas Day until we can get home. So I'm hoping that we're gonna be able to turn right around um, on the 25th. We'll leave early in the morning and come home so that he won't have to be by himself all day. Nobody should on Christmas Day. So, I think I'm going to sign off because I am sweating to death standing in front of the stove. <laughs> Minus 38 up here yesterday. We had the stove just a fogging and puppies were roasty toasty warm. House was nice and warm, no frozen pipes or anything. We were happy about that. So as I said, I'm going to sign off, and if anybody has any questions, if they need to talk to me, please don't hesitate. Call me. I'm, I'm here. I'm happy to answer um, anything that you are questioning or if you're worried about the pickup and drop-offs. Hey, hey, what's that? What's that nonsense? Boy, the tempers on these little guys. Then they'll play together. So they're very responsive to their, even the rakens that I give them. They respond to my voice pretty quickly. You'll need to talk to them authoritative um, when, when they're doing something that they shouldn't be doing. Then you just, you guys know. You've, I'm sure you've all had dogs in your life. Okay. I hope you all have your dog food and your leashes and all that stuff ready. I'll be sending a little starter pack of dog food to get you through the first, probably the first week or so. And uh, there's some little doggy toys and treats and their blanket and their sweaters and a few odds and ends in the basket that I bring with, bring them with, bring with them. Oh, that's Nellie. Look at her. She's feeling her oats. Is that Molly she's raking? Nell. Nellie. Nellie. Can you hear them growling? little tyrants okay that's it and that's all and we'll talk later <coughs> bye for now